Hello again, it's us, Zoe and my helper McKenna, and today we are making blueberry muffins. We bought some blueberry muffins at the store the other day, and they're really good, but they have lots of sugar in them, and I thought for sure we could make something more tasty with more blueberries in it. So, I have a recipe here. We're doing a gluten-free blueberry muffin, and it's made with almond flour. Nice thing about almond flour, it's got a little bit of sweetness, so you really don't need a lot of sugar for this recipe. So let's um, first go over what we have. We washed our hands and we printed out our recipe and we put our oven on 350 bake, so it's ready to go. I also lined my muffin tin with some little muffin liners. If you don't have muffin liners, you can um, use some nonstick spray. So we're going to set that over here, which reminds me I need to grab my nonstick spray because we are using honey today. So here it is, nonstick mm. spray for the honey, our little trick. Yeah. All right, and the nice thing about these muffins too is they're gluten free. So if you have a gluten allergy, they're also low carb if you're watching your carb intake. Yeah. All right, and dairy free. Look at that, amazing. Okay, so let's talk about what we need. So we have our almond flour. Now I like a uh, blanched almond flour, which does not have the almond skins on it. So it's white, it's finely ground. Um, you can also use the almond flour with the skins if you want. So the almond flour, I've got two eggs. I've got honey, there's my little bear. Mm -hmm. I've got baking soda. Apple cider vinegar. I'm almost out of this one, so I got a new one if we need it. Sea salt, yum yum. And vanilla, a lot of stuff. Vanilla, olive oil, just of a tiny vanilla. bit. Of course, vanilla, yeah. Love vanilla. Olive oil, and then some fresh, yummy blueberries, which are in the store right now that are super good. So, got those. Those are washed and measured one cup. So, First thing we're going to do is prepare those muffin tins, which we did. And now we're going to mix all ingredients in the bowl except for the blueberries. So that's the last thing we're going to do. So my helper here is going to stir. There you go. So first I'm going to add all the dry ingredients and then I'll add the wet later. So first I've got two cups of almond meal or almond flour. Um, so again, like we always do, Scoop it in, shake it. If you want to take a flat surface, like, can you borrow this? Your uh, spoon, you can just go over the top and make sure it's nice and flat. One, and one more, too. So scoop it out, shake it off, grab that spoon. Nice and flat surface. Two cups. On this side. Oh, up in there. All right, here you go, stir. All right, so that's our first dry ingredient. I'll set that aside. Next thing we're gonna add is our baking soda, half a teaspoon. So I've got my half teaspoon measure. I'm gonna go ahead and it's got that nice, this container's got that nice lip, so I can just rub that along and it's nice and flat. Half a teaspoon of baking soda. So that goes in the bag here. All done. Kenna's doing a little stirring already. Our salt, so half a teaspoon of salt. Where's my salt? Everything's hiding. There it is. All right, so I got my salt. Half a teaspoon. In goes the salt. Okay, I think that's all of our dry ingredients. Now so we not that many. Add the wet one. That's right. Now we're gonna add the wet ingredients. That really makes the difference. The fun stuff, right? All right. So what I would suggest sometimes that makes it nice and easy is when you're adding the wet is to make like a little hole in the middle of your dry ingredients um, and then we can add the wet into the middle stir it a little bit and it gently uh, incorporate the, the dry so just leave it yeah perfect all right so we've got two eggs so i'm going to let mckenna do the eggs here you go just make sure you don't get any shell in there and while she's doing the eggs i am going to do the honey so you can use um there you go you can use honey or you can use maple syrup. Uh, you could also use agave nectar. Any liquid form of um, sweetener will work. So our little pack here, spray the inside of your measuring cup with a little nonstick spray, spread it around, and then that way your honey won't stick. One more egg, here you go. 
you go, two eggs. So I'm gonna do my fourth cup of honey while McKenna's doing the eggs. So we're gonna go ahead and add all of our wet ingredients before we start to stir. Right into the middle. Almost got a fourth cup of honey. There we go. And if you watch, it's gonna slip out real nice and easy because I use that nonstick spray. I really hope I didn't get any shells in there. Nope, looks good. Okay, good. All right, so I'm going to set this aside. There we go. And we don't need our spray anymore either. So we're going to get rid of that too. So we're cleaning up our space and our honey. Done. Woo. Getting a lot of things off the counter here. All right, our next step is going to be our one and a half tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. So I've got my organic apple cider vinegar and I've got my half tablespoon measure. So I'm going to go. Three of these. I don't know if I have enough in here. One, two. Ooh, I might just have enough. <laughs> oh, and I even have a little leftover. There you go. All right, you can start stirring. So we're done with our apple cider vinegar. Kind of going to start incorporating the ingredients. All right. Crack the yolk. And then we have our two tablespoons of olive oil. So that's, this is a half tablespoon measure, so four of these would equal two. One, two, three, almost there, four. So four half tablespoons equals two full tablespoons. Olive oil done. Check. And now our vanilla, so a tablespoon of vanilla. It's a lot of vanilla. Excellent. So this is a half tablespoon, so two, ta two of these one. equals one. One. And smells amazing, two. All right, so I think we have everything. We had our almond flour, our eggs, our honey, our baking soda, apple cider vinegar, sea salt, oh. vanilla, and olive oil. This All right. smells way better than that apple vinegar. Let me see. Apple. Let me see this real quick. So I'm just gonna give it a final good stir before we add the blueberries. All right, McKenna, do you remember our folding technique? We yeah. fold them in. All right, we're gonna fold the blueberries in. Remember, we do a gentle stir so we don't break the the blueberries. We almost fold the batter over the blueberries. So I've got my cup of blueberries. Gonna go, McKenna's gonna fold the blueberries in. It's a nice little nice. twist of the wrist. I can help you if you want. All right. Good. All right, I'll show you guys on the video. So watch, I scoop under and over. Uh -huh. Under you take a big scoop and big over, big that's big right. Big. And that way we won't break the blueberries. Okay, so now we're gonna fill our muffin tin. We got our already prepared muffin pan. Now I love to use a cookie scoop when I do muffin pans. If you guys can see it, it looks like a ice cream scoop, yeah. but it's a little bit smaller. So this way you can get even amount into the muffin tin. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a scoop of my batter and I just plop it right in. And you wanna fill these till almost full to the top. So watch me one more time. Scoop, gentle scoop, don't want to break those blueberries, and boop. And that way you can assure that they're all filled equally. And so you're going to cook them for 20 to 25 minutes at 350. Check them. Um, they won't rise a lot because it is almond flour. They're going to be a little more dense. Uh, let them cool for maybe, you know, an hour, um, and then enjoy. And I would definitely store these in the fridge because refrigerator because it's hot, and they have fresh blueberries in them. So... There you go. Enjoy. Have some fun making these yummy muffins. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Do you wave bye? Bye.